Ryan, we're loving that weather. We're loving every little bit of rain that we can get off to the east yesterday. It was just looked like it was socked in there. Yeah, we had plenty of rain in parts of the metro yesterday, at least a quarter to a half an inch in parts. Now this morning we are rain free in Albuquerque, but we did rain a lot in Silver City. At least a quarter to a half an inch briefly fell heavily and now we're just left over with rain cooled air, some clouds and very damp conditions. A humidity value of 85% right now in Silver City, 62 degrees right now with a wind at nine miles per hour. Do you know it's the wet roadways? And we're going to continue to watch out for slippery travel on the roadways with even the potential for burn scar flash flooding and arroyo flash flooding in the coming days. Now this morning, the showers that did impact Silver City now dripping onto the east closer to I-25 from near Deming to now moving through Hatch, New Mexico. If you guys are traveling along Highway 26, Moderate to heavy rain briefly moving on through with even some hit or miss lightning strikes moving north and east closer to truth or consequences and another band of storms to the east and north of Hatch moving up and along the eastern parts of the I-25 corridor in the Rio Grande Valley. So a really wet morning in the southern and western parts of our viewing area and the clouds and moisture moving closer and closer to Albuquerque. So Coral, you may get a little bit of rain for your morning commute if this batch of rain holds together, which it likely will. Now Santa Fe to the east and to the south and east we are dealing with mostly clear skies but pretty humid air moving on through. We'll have to watch out for again flooding rainfall and the burn scars very likely around Rio Doso and impossible in the Hermes Peak Cap Canyon area to the Cerro Pilato. Flood watches for these areas for a burn scar flash flooding more likely even compared to yesterday. A beautiful start meanwhile in Albuquerque, a higher chance of rain later today. We're just dealing with some hit or miss clear skies and clouds. Gotta love with the city lights contrasting with the brighter skies and we do notice we have again a good view of the Sandias as well. Air temperature at the Sunport, we're at 66 right now. 61 the cool spot around the metro in Los Lunas, 64 right now in Berlin. 62 in Rio Rancho, Bernalillo, and Corrales right now. So these temperatures pretty close to normal for now. May drop a little bit below normal before you really start to warm up after the morning commute. 55 in Santa Fe, cool and humid and a bit chilly and pretty humid in the higher elevations in the high 30s and 40s right now. So it's still chilly just like yesterday morning, but more humid setting the stage for more rain. 62 in Tucumcari, a little bit drier this morning, but still a lot of low-level moisture in the air. 70 in Roswell, 71 in Carlsbad, warming up in the 90s for you guys. In the 60s right now in Farmington, a drier air mass and still likely rain-free and pretty nice today in the 80s. 70s in Grants, high 60s, low 70s from the reserve to Kamado. Temperatures below normal. Now this model depicting lower 80s today in Albuquerque. I think we may be a tad warmer depending on how stormy we'll be. Again, here are the 90s in eastern and southern New Mexico. Average high 88, I think we'll reach right around 86. For the first time this August, we got to below normal high temperatures at 86 yesterday, 86 today with a good chance of thunderstorms forming to start in the Sacramento Mountains, the Zuni Mountains, the Gila National Forest, near Silver City and Socorro once again. Those storms as well in the northern mountains, slow moving to start, picking up speed around Albuquerque later today. But to your east, more likely than not, rain free. An active monsoon pattern though in store will likely see chances of rain in these areas. Far eastern areas rain free and in the four corners from Gallup to Durango, likely rain free for today. Now tomorrow the storms moving far to the east and then for your Friday, a backdoor cold front comes on through with more low level moisture and more chances of rain. For your Labor Day weekend, it will likely be a wet one for the early half of your Labor Day weekend. Lower 80s in Durango in the short term, cooler in the longer term. We may not even reach 80 today in Pagosa Springs. Grants, a good chance of rain. Farmington, though, likely rain free. High 80s and low 90s ahead. Las Cruces, mid to upper 80s and lower 90s. A slight chance of storms. Lordsburg, you guys have a better chance of rain as well as Deming. Even later today, just like you saw earlier this morning, rain tapering off right now. Roswell, a chance of rain, 90s in the short term, 80s in the longer term, 60s and 70s in Cloudcroft and Rio Doso. Flood watches for you guys, as well as Mora and Las Vegas. And we'll see most likely the rain free conditions in the northeastern highlands. Santa Fe will have to watch out for the forecast this weekend as well in the upper 70s, lower 80s, 60s and 70s in Red River and Angel Fire. Edgewood, Moriarty, Mountaineer to head us. Those East Canyon winds will eventually pick up this weekend. Temperatures in the 70s and low 80s today, mostly in the 80s around the metro from the South Valley to the North Valley. Average high in 
in Albuquerque, 88. Maybe a little bit hotter and drier tomorrow, but stormier for Friday and Saturday. Yeah, stormy is good, and it looks like uh, there might be a break on there uh, Sunday for somebody over the weekend, for Labor Day weekend, to be able to get out and cook. Yeah, so uh, kind of now new indications suggesting that Labor Day may be a little bit drier than we initially suspected, so we'll take that. Get that little break for the unofficial end of summer. Right. All right, thanks a lot, Ryan.